Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Yesterday I stopped off at Walmart on the way out to see my favorite band at a concert. Figured let's stop in here and see what they've got and they were loaded, freshly stocked with everything that you would expect to see on the shelves, like a whole bunch of 2023 Heritage, a lot of Series 1 still on the shelves that's being stocked, including the Monster Boxes. You've got a bunch of Series 2. But what really caught my eye today, and we'll kind of focus in on that, is the clearance stuff is kind of overflowing. You've got a, I don't, I don't even know how many boxes there, but there was probably at least 30, 40, 50 clearance boxes on the shelves. You can see they were $35, now they're $17 in some instances. All the boxes that in the clearance boxes are $17. They're not marked off percentage-wise, so they're all the exact same price. Even the $25 boxes from last year are $17. But there's a good variety. We're talking 12 different boxes that you can pick up, and I am going to pick up one of each and every clearance box at this Walmart, and we're going to open all of them up to see what we can find. And I'll tell you what, I've just filmed the video and there is some big surprises in store for you. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here and I will show you just another 30 seconds of what they have on the shelves before we get on with the opening. I'm sorry that I never focus on any of the football or basketball. I'm just not interested in that stuff. This is what I picked up. It's the whole cart, one box of each. And they all rang up at $16.98, just like they should have. All together, $215. After that, headed off to see my favorite band, Dave Matthews Band. Now that I'm back home, it's time to rip open all of these boxes. Let's see what we can find. All right, everybody, back from Walmart. And holy cow, the clearance boxes are back with a vengeance. Back in 2018 to 2019, when we were doing Walmart videos, Almost every week, there was always great stuff in the clearance boxes for 40% off. You might recall those yellow clearance boxes at the bottom of the baseball card sections. They disappeared once the pandemic hit and you just could not find cards anymore. As soon as they were stocked, the blasters were being gobbled up by collectors and flippers. That's all changed. Boxes are sitting around and a whole bunch from 2022. I got 12 different ones there today. And I checked out a couple different Walmarts, and it was all the same case at the other ones as well. This week, the MJ Holding Company is just slashing prices. So check your Walmart if you want to get some up to 50% off deals. Like you can see the Panini products, $35 a box on most of their stuff. Well, now it's less than half off at 17 so we got a whole bunch to go through today. We're going to try one box of each of these discount boxes. And Tamara has sponsored this video. So all 12 of these boxes, by the way, cost me $215. And uh, let's see if we can get back some of that value. As much of that and then hopefully more if possible. Again, with retail, sometimes it's tough. But the good thing about this is... These are primarily 2022, so there's a chance that some of the really good rookies in here. You got Wander Franco, J Rod, Bobby Witt, O'Neill Cruz, Spencer Strider, etc. in the 2022 checklist. We're going to start things off with a little bit of Bowman and Platinum. We will have some autographs today. I'm expecting to find, well, let's see. So should I go with three? I know there's two Panini draft picks, which should give us an autograph in each of those. I'm going to go with three autographs. We're going to start off with the Bowman Platinum Blaster Box, and we'll just rip each box at a time. I call this a super rip when I just rip all the packs from a box at once and then go through them together. Unfortunately, no 2022 Bowman on the shelves. Wouldn't that be something? We could go after Ellie De La Cruz's first. I did stop off at a card show today as well in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, but I only bought stuff from two different dealers, so I don't think I'm going to make a video about it. I did, however, pick up some Ellie De La Cruz cards there. All right, Tamara, let's see what we can find in the Bowman Platinum box as we get underway. Another good rookie in this 2022 set would be Jeremy Pena and uh, also Spencer Torkelson, who still is yet to prove himself. 
Juan Soto, by the way, is proving himself. Just hit his 14th home run last night. His average is up to 273 now. So, hey, in another month, he may be hitting 300. Tatis is hitting 290. Those two guys are proving themselves. Mike Trout, however, still struggling a bit. He's hitting 250, although he did hit a home run yesterday along with Showtime. There's Matt Chapman, our first numbered car. That one's out of 299. We'll get that one in a sleeve. A second Mike Trout. And Tyler Black as well. And there's Ronald Acuna Jr. for Tamara. All right, so first box in the books. It was Bowen Platinum. Next, we'll go ahead and do archives. I always have enjoyed archives over the year, and I've heard it's on the chopping block. They're not going to bring this back in 2023, supposedly. Last, uh, last ever release of archives, at least for the time being. Sometimes sets will go away, then they'll be brought back. After years of hiatus, I guess they figured that since Archives just uses, you know, past designs, it's basically not that much different than Heritage. Although if I had to choose one between Archives and Heritage, I think I would prefer the Archives because at least in Archives you get, what is it, two autos per hobby box. We're going to miss that. With Heritage, you get one hit per box, and most times it's a relic. All right, so we're doing this Archives box right now. There's going to be some of those 89 Tops big insert cards in here, which is one of my first ever sets that I was buying. It used to be about a quarter pack when I first got into collecting cards in 1989. And here we go with box number two. Hey, look at this! Bill Mazeroski autograph in a blaster box! Hall of Famer, Bill Mazeroski! That was unexpected. We'll take that in a $17 clearance box. We hit the Bill Mazeroski auto in the archives checklist. Wow, that's freaking awesome. Bill Mazeroski is the hero of the 1960 World Series. He hit the World Series winning home run to defeat the Yankees at Forbes Field and forever put him in baseball lore the first ever walk-off series winning home run in the World Series Bill Mazeroski also more known for his defense than his offense but um, man what an awesome card that is for Tamara so Tamara big hit right there Bill Mazeroski what are the odds of finding that in a blaster box probably not all that great but we hit it there. We will definitely take that. I guess it's the 1988 Topps design that I was talking about. That's Buster Posey. That's an 88 Topps big design. O'Neill Cruz rookie card as well. I'm sure he's sitting back thinking, man, I wish I could be playing right now. There's a Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card. The Pirates have sunk down to fourth place in the division amidst the Cincinnati Reds going on a 12-game winning streak. Highlighted and uh, kind of fueled by their new cleanup hitter, Ellie De La Cruz. I'm sure that O'Neill De La Cruz sees a lot of parallels, at least I do, in their games. Speed, power, long, lanky frames. Let's do the Lone 2021 Blaster Box. This is a Prism Draft Picks. I always thought this was terribly overpriced at $35 a piece, but now you can get it for $17. So... For those of you that were complaining about the $35 price point, and myself, I'm one of you, they are down to $17. It's what they should have been all along. They should have, I, I remember saying the, they should still be $20 bucks because, look, every time I buy a select box, for example, I get like $3 in cards. Pretty nice that uh, it's only taken them a little while to you know, correct the prices, but maybe going forward, Maybe next year, although Panini, I don't, I don't know how, ma how much more they're going to put out with them not having any licenses anymore to use active players. Um, maybe next year they'll get those prices lined up where they should be around, I would like to see $20 a blaster. I guess we can stomach 25 for the time being, huh? All right, so let's see. Do we have an autograph in here? I guess we don't. There's Henry Davis. That's kind of disappointing. I thought for some reason that Prism Draft Pick had an autograph in there. I guess uh, that's not the case. I'm going to have to revisit this. Yeah, it just says you get five exclusive 
uh, parallels in there. That was $35, at least in 2022. It says there's one autograph per box. What a, uh, man, what a crappy box for 35 bucks. Again, got about $3 out of cards. There's $3 in cards in that prism box. Let's go ahead and do, well, should we do another, should we do another Panini product? Rest in peace, Panini products. Let's do the Optic box. Optic was always, uh, you know, if you did like Panini, this was always one that you probably at least checked out. Maybe try to box this. One of their more popular releases, baseball releases throughout the year. And again, this was $35 a box. Now it's less than half price. Less than a year later than... When did this come out? Like July last year? 11 months later? Half price. All right, we'll see what we can find. In this next one, we're at one autograph right now. I asked for three, but I I also thought there would be a, an, an autograph in that Prism Draft Pick box. So we'll still uh, cross our fingers that we get three. But, man, I was not expecting a Hall of Fame auto, so we'll definitely take that. There's Vladdy right there. He's dropped to fourth in the lineup in the Blue Jays order the other night. Hey, J-Rod Pink. Very nice. There's one of the big rookies we were talking about. J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez. It is a pink parallel, so congrats on that. Tamara and Grayson Rodriguez, rated prospect there. Let's do, let's do Alan Ginter next. Good old A&G. You never know what you're going to find in these blasters. There'll be some base cards of unicorns and rainbows and horses and sandwiches. But there might also be a framed mini auto or maybe a, a relic. I've, uh, I've had some good luck with these blasters here and there. They're not, they're not terrible in terms of giving you a chance at maybe getting a hit. Let's see if we can get one here. And there's also still looks like seven more blasters to go from Walmart. All right, here we go with this. Next one. Unfortunately, we don't have any of those framed cards because they would be very, very, you know, evident by looking at the side of the stack. You'd see the thicker stock card. Also have to deal with the minis here. I'm personally not a big fan of the minis. Flipped upside down Rick Sutcliffe. And we've got a gold Glaber Torres, C.J. Abrams. None of the good rookies. There's one of our sandwiches. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And last, Steve Garvey. Pete Alonso, who's... I think he's still third in the MLB right now with 23 home runs. As of today, June... What is it? 24th? Can't believe uh, Shohei is just out of this world. Let's do the mosaic next. 25 home runs for Otani right now. He's on pace to hit over 50. Matt Olson right behind him at 24. Nice little home run race heating up. All right, so for Mosaic, let's see what we can find in this. This was another one of those $35 blasters last year that now you can get for half price. Less than half price, actually, at 17. In fact, all of these were ringing up at 16.98. Walmart loves their eights. You ever notice that? A lot of their prices almost always end in eight. Like you buy a shirt, it's like twelve eighty eight. You buy a new hat, it's nineteen eighty eight. You buy a belt, it's fifteen eighty eight. There's Trevor Bauer right there. I picked up his first Bowman today at the card show for about a buck. There's Wander Franco rookie card. It's a blue. It is not numbered, but a nice Wander right there. And we've got Yoho Pozo. This will be an autograph. So we hit our second autograph, and it looks like we will get at least three autographs. I wanted three. We should have a minimum of three because another box has a guaranteed autograph in there. So, Tamara, congrats on that. Another Wander Franco rookie debut card right there. I guess we'll get that one in a sleeve. And we'll see what else we can find. Me, personally, I was never a big fan of Mosaic. Just kind of found the cards to be a little bland. There's a hot sauce card, and nothing else going on in that one. I saw some uh, 2022 Chrome on the shelves at one of the Walmarts, but it did not have the sticker on there. That's that's one that'll probably go, I would imagine, 
end up going clearance maybe soon. I, I wonder how many cases, how many hundreds and hundreds of boxes MJ Holdings has of these in their warehouse that are unsold. Probably just too many to count. They're like, let's flush them out this week, guys. And when I posted the the, uh, the sign-up opportunity for this video, there's at least one other member that said, hey, in my neck of the woods too, other side of the country, same deal. The clearance boxes are filled up right now at Walmart, folks, if you'd like to take advantage of it. So good job waiting out the, uh, waiting out the market. You got your clearance boxes back. You would have been buying all this stuff up at these exorbitant prices of $35 a box. You want to be seeing these clearance boxes. All right, so we're looking for the J-Rod short print rookie card in Series 2. The best two rookies in the Series 2 main set are going to be Spencer Strider and O'Neill Cruz. And look at this! We've got a J-Rod, and it is going to be the J-Rod short print! How about that? In the clearance box, a J-Rod short print... To go with the Bill Mazeroski autographs. I can't believe it. Crazy stuff right there. I hope the audio is okay. I got a phone call right when that came in. Luckily, the camera didn't cut. J-Rod short print. That was a $300 card. $250, $300 card when these boxes were on the shelves. And wow, I can't believe it. What a what a great, uh, great haul for Tamara right here. That card alone will pay for all of your boxes and then some. Wow. Look at the rest of these. We've got a Luin Diaz right there. That's going to be one of those Royal Blues, which is not numbered. And we've got about the Spencer Strider rookie card. And we've got... Five boxes left. So before we get into these five, I'm going to return that phone call that I missed in case it was important. And then we'll get right back to those. And I guess I'll get my camera straightened up as well. All right, we're back and ready to finish the last five boxes. Here we go. Let's try the select box next. I'm going to go and try out my driver. So I have some plans to go driving some golf balls with the boys and Heather here in a little bit. First time using my driver that I picked up off of Timmy T time. I don't know anything about golf, but I'm, I really enjoy hitting golf balls. So Tamara, here we go with this next one. Let's see if we can get yet another hit. Usually these select boxes have been just abysmally awful for me. I never seem to be able to find anything and we have another hit. It is going to be a Seth Beer. Nice big piece of uh, maybe his socks there, or not, I'm not sure. It's a piece of his uh, jersey or socks. I'm not sure. It's his rookie patch, Seth Beer, and the hits keep on coming. I can't believe I freaking pulled that um, <laughs> that J Rod. I need to get that one in my PC. I don't have that one yet, so maybe I'm going to go back. There was a, a bunch. I've saw a bunch of those Series Two blasters on the shelves. I have to go back and grab a couple more of those and try to hit that for myself. Tamara, congratulations on that. We'll do the gallery box next. Gallery, one of the packs that are always tougher for me to open. And I don't know why. The pack wrappers seem to be just a little bit different. You can, can't get that, that nice tear along that seam that I like to get. I always like to open from pulling to the left, but... Sometimes it just doesn't work that way with certain packs. Archives are sometimes like that. Gypsy Queen. Oh, that one came open very easily. I guess. I don't know. I don't even know what I did there to do that. But let's see what we can find here. Gallery is another one of those sets that is going to be gone, it looks like. I think they're getting rid of Pops Fire opening day for 2023. Archives. Gold label. Gallery. Um, I never was a huge fan of Gallery. I did think that they did a pretty nice job with 2022. Some, you know, some good, good-looking uh, cards. We've got Wander Franco. That's going to be a 
foil rookie card there. So, Tamara, you're having a good, good video. Let's see if we can get you that third autograph, which we should be able to. It'll be coming out of the next box that I open here. Next wave, Luis Roberts having a great season. 19 home runs. Hannes Wagner as well. One of my former students uh, sent me an email and said they were cleaning out their attic and found a Hannes Wagner autograph. Sent me a picture of it. Looks legit. It's really freaking awesome. What a great find. Makes you wonder what else is hiding in people's attics they don't know about. Somewhere out there, there's, there's got to be a couple more 1909 Hannes Wagners that are, that are in some trunk or maybe a 52 Mickey Mantle Tops card that's, you know, in some book somewhere being used as a bookmark that's in great condition. I wonder what the next big attic find will be. It might be years down the road. All right, here we go. This is going to be the box that gives us the third autograph. It'll be the Prism Draft box. There's one auto per box. And they put the pink parallels in the packs with this release rather than last, uh, like the 2021 version, where they give you the special pack. We've got Tanner McDougal signing sessions, which will be our third and potentially final autograph. Let's see if there's anything else in here of note. Gavin Cross, black border card. It is not numbered. Personally, I'm not, not never a big fan of the Prism Draft releases. I like to do them. Just, just do a new release preview video. I like to show you anything new that's coming out so you can check it out and see if it's for you or not. Next box up, it's going to be Heritage High Number. This is the Heritage set you probably want to get. Or the Heritage box you probably want to get because the Heritage High Number set, it's basically like the Topps Update set of Heritage. You've got the J-Rod, Bobby Witt Jr. rookies in here. Torkelson to a lesser degree might... Who knows? Maybe Torkelson will come around after another year in the majors. Sometimes it takes some players longer than others. Just look at Jared Kelnick. All right, so now let's see if we can hit something else for you. It's already been a great video for you so far. Headlined by the, I guess the best pull has got to be that J-Rod. But that Bill Mazeroski, a nice one as well. There's the Torkelson. Let's see what else we have. There's Chris Bryant. That is going to be number to 999. Another Chris Bryant. There's his base paper card. Those uh, those chrome cards are kind of tough pulls. That's not too bad. Got a Juan Soto card in there along with a Seiya Suzuki. Cutter Crawford. And James Karinczak is the last one there. So we're down to our last box. Last $17 box. It is going to be a stadium club box. Let's see what we can find in this final one. There's a little master photo right there with Fernando Tatis on the front. Have to keep an eye on Tatis' rookie card. And I'm, there should be going up way he's been playing, which is nice because they, of course, really took a big nose dive after his motorcycle accident and suspension, basically missed an entire year. All right, here we go. Finish this one up with some nice stadium club photography, and we'll see what we've got. There's Jared Kelnick, Tosca Hernandez. It's going to be one of those orange faded parallels. Arenola red foil. We've got the red foils and the black foils, which are pretty common. They're not numbered. The blue foils will be numbered. I think they're at 25, if I remember correctly. Either 50 to 25 or 25. It's another Torkelson. Upside down Big Mac card is a red foil. So far, nothing numbered yet. There's Yadier Molina, and we've got Shane Bieber. Shane Bieber is going to be a chrome card. Austin Riley. And unfortunately, just mostly commons in that final box. But man, what a nice, uh, what a nice haul there for Tamara. And uh, that's all we have for you. So figured I'd be kind of a, you know, 
it's not exactly a new product. I mean, I could have gone to Walmart and picked up a bunch more Series 2, but I figured this would be a good video to do to show you what's available in those clearance bins right now. So some of you may actually live within driving distance of a couple Walmarts. If you see a certain product you might want to go after for, you know, half price or $17 off of a $25 box, that's still not too bad. Uh, the top products are about, what is that, about seven, I guess $8 off the $25 price. So go check it out if you'd like to. And Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. Check us out tomorrow for our next live auction. We have the final 10 of the Jack Holland binders that we'll be selling off. And then uh, a whole bunch more stuff to auction off as well. So check us out tomorrow night in our live auction. And I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.